The Republican National Convention coincides with a brutal day in Jacksonville history, Axe Handle Saturday. This August marks 60 years since African Americans taking part in a peaceful lunch counter protest in downtown Jacksonville were attacked. Rodney Hurst was one of the many people attacked. News from Jackson reporter Janice Harris spoke with Hurst and other activists and joins us live. And uh, Janice, Hurst says that uh, they're going to move forward with plans for a commemoration. You are correct, Kent. That commemoration will happen. Rodney Hurst and several other African-American teenagers and one white supporter were among the group that just down this street where the federal building is now located, they were attacked by white supremacist groups 60 years ago. Hearst believes the Republican National Convention, Convention rather, coming to Jacksonville is not a good idea because it will only possibly spark conflict about unresolved racial issues here in the city. For weeks, teenagers, adults, and people of all races have been marching and protesting against racism and injustice. 60 years ago, a then 16-year-old Rodney Hurst was attacked for protesting against racism in a lunch counter sit-in in Jacksonville. It was an attempt to integrate public places. He would become one of many teenagers attacked during what is now called Axe Handle Saturday. And there were whites in Confederate uniforms passing out free axe handles, but we decided we were going to sit in that day anyway. This is a photo of one protester covered in blood after being attacked. A mural sits on A. Philip Randolph marking the day of the Axe Handle Saturday attack as a lesson and reminder of what happened and to honor those who stood up for justice. Local educators and activists, Dr. Rudy Jamison and Dr. Christopher Jansen, say this is a time for Jacksonville to be honest about its history. Um, and I think it's significant because um, it tells a history that had been blacked out, that had been covered up, right? And, uh, and I think that's a, that's a new type of violence that's perpetrated on, on black folk today. I think a lot of white people are very comforted by thinking about the civil rights movement as being universally nonviolent. Um, of course, it was, it was extremely violent. And, and like Act Symbol Saturday, that violence was 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 uh, committed by white people to, pr to to protect this white supremacist ideology. In August, the world will be watching Jacksonville as it is in the political limelight. So These educators know, believe it is a chance for the country. city to confront race relations in this country. And the 60th anniversary commemoration of Axe Handle Saturday will happen, in fact, on August 27th at noon. That is expected to still happen around the same weekend of the RNC. Her saying that he really doesn't think it's a good idea for RNC to be here because of his concerns about Trump's racist rhetoric. Reporting live from Hemming Park, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.